this is not a f***ing getaway story. This is a story about one man, Red Dragon. This poor prick and 3,000 of these. Soccer Australia and John Howard in their infinite wisdom has appointed me as the official ambassador of national pride. And today, me and the fanatics take the Aussie Express to a little town called Kaiserslautern to watch our boys kick the shit out of the Japs. I miss you love Australia, guys. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to comment about the Japanese. You may get off the train and I'll come up here. Now, look, that's so small and cute and friendly. But, boys, i got one word for you. Kokoda. OK? <laughs> boys, who's the player that's going to do it for Australia? Jimmy's yeah. 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 We've got a few boys here from Bankstown. Yeah. So at least we know that if we don't win the World Cup, we'll steal the bastard. Looks like a big girl, Reggie. Problem is, mate, you can't tell the birds from the blokes over here. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Waza. Now he put together this tour. Here's the head honcho, the big biggie, the big cheese of the tour. Now Waz, tell us about it, mate. Mate, it's been uh, relentless. 3,000 idiots, uh, they're all having a good time though, and uh, yeah, mate, it's been crazy. And unfortunately, they started drinking at 8 a.m. today, so we could be in a bit of trouble for the tour yeah. train back. Yeah, that's disgusting drinking at 8 a.m. It's no good at all. I'm going to do a deal with you, right? Up. If we win, you lay off our whales. Gosh, Dave, boys! Hey, just settle down, you're peaking too early, okay? <laughs> if, if, if you win, Queensland's yours, okay? <laughs> I've been dry reaching for last half an hour. We're still on the breath. <laughs> To our train journey, everywhere you looked, it was green and gold. Unfortunately for me, it was mainly green due to motion sickness. And then we reached our destination, Kaiserslautern. I bid farewell to my prodigies and wished them luck. There was no more that I could teach them. It was up to them now to get behind our boys and give it to those bastard Japanese. Yes, uh, well done there, Reg, aboard the Aussie Express. They call it the Aussie Express because it was an hour late and nobody bought a ticket. <laughs>